This is the Atom X SDI module for the Ninja 5 from Atomus. Cinema 5D at NAB 2019 is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, the leading specialist in creative cine, video and photo solutions. Joby, connect and create. Fujifilm, value from innovation. And Manfrotto, imagine more. Hi, this is Nino from Cinema 5D. We're here at Atomos at NAB 2019 with Jeremy again. Hey man, how you going? Good, how are you? Good. Well, let's look at this little thing. You introduced a SDI model uh, for the Ninja 5. Yes. Can you, what can you tell me about it? Okay, so huge requests for SDI, right? And they didn't know that we had Shinobi in the works. But at the same time, I can definitely understand that, you know, sometimes you, or even normal, you want to bigger camera to have a smaller monitor. Yeah, you change your camera, but you want to keep your monitor that you yeah, know. Or mirrorless, you need a smaller size, right? So obviously um, Ninja 5 was super, has been super popular. We thank you for all the purchases from people. We are really happy with the results. Um, it's been insane, really, really good. Shinobi also, so you know, those guys out there using those HDR screens, it's, it's impressive, the, the pickup of it for us. And so what we always try and do is get those core messages out of the shows. And one of the big ones from NAB was SDI. I think you even asked me last year, I think, about it. And what we were able to do is, without having to make this super expensive, you know, this is like 200 bucks, um, we were able to offer 12G SDI in and out. Mm -hmm. We were able to offer dual link. So that's two 4K 30s put together as a 4K 60. Um, we're able to offer output from an HDMI, uh, sorry, from an SDI input, but not from an HDMI input at this point. So no cross conversion yet? No cross conversion yet. We may be able to, right now we can't fit 4K 60 SDI and HDMI at the same time. Mm -hmm. This chip is very low power and very powerful in lots of ways, but we limited the number of IOs to keep the power down, and that means we can kind of switch between each. Yeah. But it's just a bandwidth question. So what we've calculated is that we should be able to do HD60, mm -hmm. maybe two HD60s in, give you some, you know, maybe a two-channel switch or something, but it's, it's nice. It's, this is 1.0, just like ProRes Raw was, right? And we're, we can evolve it. Well, I think for TV stuff, you know, most people still shoot HD. It, it should, be, should be fine. Yeah, yeah, so you get your, it's funny, you know, the mirrorless and um, I guess the cool kids are all raw, 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 raw. And the broadcast swing by, give me 1080i. Yeah. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You give know? me the most compressed thing possible. I know, it's a <laughs> heart. <laughs> you know, I no compute. Yeah. But now we've um, obviously got the capability to meet the needs of those guys as well. So that, that's really interesting to have um, the ability to kind of, you know, I would never have put HD60 in a latest and greatest product three years ago. Mm. I would have said that is showing that we're not the latest. Now I see that there's so much infrastructure and you know, there's a real reason to offer that HD SDI. It really does help the world. Um, that's probably the maximum we'll be able to do in this. But you do get SDI in, you do get SDI out. Cross conversion is a question, probably HD. Other than that. So it might come, but you don't know yet. Yeah, we're not, we need to test it. Yeah. We need to get in there and test it. And to be honest, we didn't even think of it until we finished the switching on the Sumo and the Shogun. And then we're like, we should probably think about that Well, one. you give people what they want and they want more. That's it's always right. like well, that. That's the fun bit, right? <laughs> as long as they're staying with us, we're happy. <laughs> cool. Well, awesome. You already mentioned it's like $200. Yeah. Is it available already? Uh, no, it'll be available next month. Um, we're, in, we're in production now. So okay. it's finished. Um, firmware can be updated inside the unit to control it mm -hmm. and, and change the things. And then, you know, that expansion port's there. And that's the same expansion port, same kind of form factor for the NDI version as well as the, the sync module that does the, the general lock-ish frame synced yeah. versions asynchronous into the Sumo and the Shogun um, and you'll get the same um, type of synchronization through that module on the Ninja 5s. Cool. Thank you, Jeremy. No problem. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Cinema 5D for more news from NAB 2019. Win $5,000 worth of gear in our NAB 2019 giveaway together with Serp and Joby. You can win a Genie 3Xs Pro Slider Epic Kit a magic carpet carbon fiber slider and a gorilla pot with Genie Mini. To enter the giveaway, simply click the link below and follow the instructions. All winners will be drawn on April 30th. Good luck and stay tuned to Cinema 5D.